This relief pitcher for Japan in the World Baseball Classic did something that I've never seen players do before. He took his jersey and put it over his glove repeatedly. Look, grabs it very intentionally, puts it over his glove. This breakdown is brought to you by SeatGeek. Use code JOHNBOY for $20 off your tickets and just over and over and over and over. That's what he does to hide his glove. And I thought, is this just because his jersey's baggy? Maybe they gave him too baggy of a jersey. But no, it's very intentional. His entire windup is very intentional. Look, he's going to go up, up, cranes for a bit, hangs out, and then drops the pitch. If you want to see a bunch of them, now this is when there's no runners on base. The jersey is over the glove. He's looking at the catcher. He bounces a little bit, gets the sign, looks straight ahead. The left leg comes up to a nice tippy toe, showing off the legs a little bit. The ball and glove both go above his head, but they separate. They separate from each other, and he kind of finds the end there. Like his hands are fully extended to the point where he kind of snaps his elbows. Then the left leg comes down. The right leg goes up. The knee comes all the way up till he finds the high end of that, just like he did his arms. And now he's just going to hang out in a crane for a little bit where he balances it. Okay, so now he's balanced like a weight pendulum. Then he takes the ball, smacks it against the glove. Maybe that tightens his grip or just rhythm. And then he drives forward and releases the pitch. Kind of crazy. Just a lot going on. And this is all after he hides his glove in his jersey, which is the thing that is the weirdest thing or the most unusual. So I went back. And, yeah, it's not just because his jersey's baggy. He intentionally asked for baggy jerseys to do this this is him with the swallows it's regular team and he's doing it there too so then i went to the japanese forums like have people been asking questions i was like what's what's jersey in in japanese and then i googled that and then i googled his name in japanese and then i was using translate yeah a lot of people have been asking about this you know and in my research found out this isn't just takahashi who does this but some of his other teammates on the swallows also do this so their pitching coach must have told them hey here's what we're gonna do And this guy had a a solid lead. He said there's a cat inside, and that was voted as the best answer. And I was like, come on, guys. I'm looking for actual answers on all these Japanese forums. Like, what is it? Uh, And Agawa, I guess, was the first pitcher to do it, and he actually threw a no-hitter when he changed to this set position, and then maybe more people followed suit. And in 2023, professional baseball commentator Yutaka Takaji, that one always trips me up, Asked him, why are you pulling your uniform up and do you feel like you're hiding habits? And the translation says, he said, it's become routine now, but there's no doubt I'm hiding something, uh, if that's a correct translation. And yeah, I mean, that's the most obvious reason why you're doing it. He even announced it himself. This tweet says that he said, this season, I will be making the gesture of putting the uniform on the glove when entering the set. You can see the difference compared to last year. I'm looking forward to pitching. Um, and then I kind of, I've been consistently hitting the mound since the end of the season. So I, he's been practicing since the end of the season, I'm guessing. So here, that's on the right is how he used to have his glove in the set position. And on the left is where he's pulling his uniform over it. And what you got to look at is the thumb, the opening of the glove. Because if he's digging in there with his hand to change the grip, the opening might flare up or not flare up, right, you know, in the thumb area over here. Now you can't see that area because his jersey's over it. So it makes sense. I just never really seen a pitcher do this before. So I wanted to look into it and, you know, brush up on my Japanese. And I found the answers I was looking for. Now here's all three of his pitches in this game against Australia. Fastball, curveball, slider. Pretty nice to have that much going on in your windup and be, you know, pretty consistent and then make three different pitches. Not bad. In this game, he he pitched pretty well. His fastball there, a little higher fastball, high fastball, higher fastball. This one's kind of in the zone, gets smoked, but caught for an out. Then there's the curve. Nice little loopy curve, induces the ground ball. Kick save and a beauty, going to throw it out. Japan is winning 7-0. There's a fastball, ground out. If you want to see Team Japan, you can use code JOHNBOY and get $20 off from SeatGeek because if they're in the semis uh, and the finals, go check them out and you can see this in person. Wears a baggy jersey on purpose to hide his glove. And I just never seen that before. And I want to thank my dude Jarv from Oz who was watching this. Sorry about Team Australia losing this game, Jarv. But he pointed out to me, hey, have you ever seen that before? And I was like, I have not seen that before. And then I dove in. 
but now everyone's seen it. And if you like these videos and you want to see more, you can subscribe to the channel because that helps us out and makes me uh, want to keep doing them. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.